Welcome back, folks, for a new episode of Leaked. And today we're going to talk about an upcoming Tier 8 Premium French Medium Tank, the Super Sherman, or the I Sherman. The Israelis call it the M50 or the M51, but it's a Super Sherman. So there were three versions of this tank. Here is the M50 Continental Super Sherman. Here is the M50 Cummings Super Sherman. And here is the M51 I Sherman, whatever. So yeah, there were modified versions of the Sherman tank and guns from the French. So they liked the 75mm gun and they grafted onto a Sherman chassis right here. So this is the M50 Continental Super Sherman. So this is the first version of the tank. Turns out the weight of the gun and the counterweight on the back of the turret was a little bit too much for the VVSS, the vertical volute spring suspension on this tank, as well as the continental engine for the chassis. So this tank was not as mobile and the ride was not as smooth. So they upgraded it with the Cummings V8 engine and the V VSS suspension was changed to a HVSS, so the horizontal volute spring suspension. So you can see the difference right here. And later on, they modified the F1 model, 100 model, 105 millimeter gun from the AMX 30 onto this tank. So they shortened the barrel length from a 56 caliber to a 44 caliber, put a muzzle brake, put some counterweight on the back of the turret. And here you have the M51 Super Sherman. So yeah, it's basically our Sherman tank with the AMX 30 gun. Yeah. <laughs> so basically Israel had a bunch of tanks from other countries initially, and later on they modified it to outrageous extent. So they have the M60 Patton, and they modified it into the Sabre right here. And from the Sabre, they develop, you guessed it, the Markova. I have a picture, obviously. Ta-da! So, yeah, I doubt we're going to have a uh, Israelis tank line, but uh, I really want to have the Markova into the game. It's like having a uh, Abrams, but damn it. So, yeah, the Super Sherman is a modified Sherman tank. It's like modifying the Sherman into a Firefly, and this is basically a dragon. I guess. Dragonfly? Whatever. So, yeah, Super Sherman. Yes, I Sherman. Stop talking. Stats! And here are the in-game models for the Super Sherman. As you can see, it has a modified L44 105mm gun. The same gun that's on the AMX-30, except it's shorter barrel, but still big caliber gun, onto a small chassis. What is interesting is that it used VVSS, the vertical volute spring suspension, not the horizontal version that's on the EZ8. So this chassis is more like the tier 5 Sherman tank, the earlier models of the Sherman. So that sucks. As a turret that's based on the T23 medium tank. So it's a bigger turret with a bigger gun. And if you're going to put this tank into reality, the weight of the turret and the gun would put a lot of strain on the vertical volute spring suspension and this tank would not turn as well if it's put on the HVSS suspension like the EZ-8. So the hull armor is based on earlier models of the Sherman, not the EZ-8, not the squarelier rhombus shape, it's more of an egg shape. So that sucks, huh, alright, it's not the actual. M51 Super Sherman, so it's like it, it's not actually it. So it's more like a M50 Sherman, Super Sherman, with a 105mm gun. A historical buff, alright. It's not historically accurate, but whatever, it has a 50 caliber gun, so that's nice. Ah, that's weird. Here is the collision model, it's called the Rivalries. Oh, my French is terrible, but the hull armor should have 51 millimeters at the front, like the original Sherman. So this collision model is messed up, so that sucks, but it has no armor at tier 8. 50 is the same as 25, whatever, so it has no armor. French, I guess. 
And here is the screen capture of the Russian version of Tank Inspector. What's interesting is that it used APCR as the default ammo, not AP. So the shell will travel a little bit faster than normal AP. So that's good. And here are the in-game stats. It's going to be a premium tier 8 French medium tank. So let's bigger this up. Bigger this up. It has about 1400 hit points. So nah, it's pretty good for a tier 8 because the IS-3 has 1500. So that's pretty chunky. Engine power is 460, which is likely the Cummings V8. Miscellaneous fact. The Continental engine should have about 400 horsepower, so that's likely the Cummings engine. Weighs about 35 tons. Power to weight ratio is 13.14, which is not that good for a medium tank. Top speed is 40 kilometers per hour. Reverse is 16, which is decent. Hull traverse is 40 degrees per second. Turret traverse is 43.8, which is good. Terrain resistance is 1.05 for hard. 1.15 for medium and 2.4 for soft this is like m103 type of terrain resistance it's decent ish i guess all right it's average view range is 390 which is good radio range is 750 standard hull armor is 50 at the front 38 at the sides and likely 38 at the rear her armor is 63.5 all the way around likely to have more armor at the back because of the counterweight so if it's based on the counterweight system it should have the counterweight add to the armor like the Cromwell Challenger the cruiser mark 8 at tier 7 for the British tank destroyer line so if you played that tank before the counterweight on the back of the turret add to the actual armor like the t-34 as well but small stuff so the gun is a 105 millimeter gun i thought it was the l-44 it's the l-51 now huh all right damage is 400 per shot and penetration is 200 millimeters which is average for a tier 8 medium tank rate of fire is crap 4.5 rounds per minute at best with a gun rammer and vents five rounds so dpm is not that good roughly 1700 or 2000 with a gun rammer but yeah this gun does not reload that fast all right accuracy is decent 0 0.34 which is quite accurate but aim time is 3.07 seconds. Holy crap. That sucks. Gun depression is 5 degrees. Elevation is 15. So like the Firefly. Huh. That's interesting. And let's compare the Super Sherman with some medium tanks at tier 8. But the closest example I could think of is a T-34-3. And that's not even that close because this tank has armor. Whereas the Super Sherman does not. So I don't know what tank to compare it to. Compared to the CDC? The CDC is super fast. This tank is not. So yeah, it's a weird comparison. So let's take a look at the average instead. All right. So average health for a tier 8 medium tank is about 1400. So this tank has a lot of health. So that's good. It has... 13.14 power to weight ratio the average weight ratio is 15.8 for tier 8 medium tank so that sucks top speed is below average by 8.7 kilometers per hour reverse is also slower by 4 kilometers per hour so that sucks hull traverse is meh 1.4 degrees below average. Turret traverse is 0. Point, actually, 3.3 degrees above average. So, they're roughly average for the traverse, which is good. Surprisingly, based on the suspension, but small details. Terrain resistance is above average, 
for hard, for medium, for soft. So terrain resistance is crap. I think the same as a M103. I think. I was close. I was really close. The terrain resistance is almost the same as the M103. Holy crap. That sucks. Alright. Back to the T34-3. Fuel range is above average. By 5 meters. Radio range is also above average. But standard for high tiers. Which is 700 plus. Yeah. Uh, this tank is looking like an average tank. Very average. Penetration is... 8 millimeters above average. Damage is way above average, but DPM is roughly 100 off. That's surprising. That is surprising. Still crap, in my opinion. 1700, 1750. Eh, that's still crap. Accuracy is way better than the T34 3. And above average by 0 0.1. No, 0 0.01. So that's good. Aim time is still crap. 3.07 seconds. That's god awful. Has better gun depression though than the T34-3, but 5 degrees of gun depression is kind of Russian. Gun elevation is also the same as the T34-3. So yeah, this tank looks average. Firefly. Huh. Has less gun depression and elevation than the Sherman Firefly. Uh, power to weight ratio is roughly the same. But the Firefly has better terrain resistance. Really? Really? What? Has the same power- oh no, not the same power to weight ratio because of the weight, but... Not that much different. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, so it's like a bigger version of a Sherman Firefly with a bigger gun, but DPM is still kind of crap in my opinion because 1750 is Yeah, you could put a gun rammer and vents, but Let's take a look at what the gun rammer does to the T-34-3 So it has better DPM than the Super Sherman and if we put the caliber gun rammer and if we put vents and if you have a Brothers in Arms crew. So roughly you could get to 2100, which is decent. But that's a lot of crew. That's a highly trained crew and equipment put onto this tank. So, yeah. It's a giant gun on a Sherman, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> and the final opinion about the Super Sherman or the Sherman Revaluaries is that this tank is interesting to say the least because it's not a traditional medium tank there's no speed there's no mobility and there's no armor to say the least but it has a punchy gun so that's its only saving grace it deals 400 damage per shot penetration is all right 200 millimeters it's not as good as the centurion or the sta1 so penetration is all right but accuracy is still pretty good. 0.34, which is way better than 0.44 on the T34-3. So, snipe with this tank. Aim time is kind of crap though. 3.07 seconds. That's god awful. And gun depression is also not as good, as well as gun elevation. 5 degrees of gun depression and 15 for elevation. Uh, that's like Russian tank gun standards yeah it's weird it's a sniping tank it's like a Sherman Firefly at tier 8 so play it as one the mobility is not as good because the 13.14 power to weight ratio the terrain resistance is the same as a M103 but you don't have the armor so the armor is also crap view range is decent 390 if you're gonna buy this, it will likely cost around 7,000 gold at best. Or it can cost like 11,000, like the T34-3, which is ridiculous. But should I buy this tank? I mean, if you deal 
400 damage per shot and if you penetrate 200 millimeters of armor this tank will not likely get preferential matchmaking so you will see tier 10s most likely and you will have to penetrate a lot of armor with 200 millimeters is rough for a tier 8 tank so you have to spend gold shells but if you're top tier all right and if you do a lot of damage you probably make a lot of credits with this tank because it's like playing with the IS-6 if you deal more than like 3,000 damage per game you'll earn roughly 70,000 credits with a normal account and 100,000 credits with a premium one so if you manage to penetrate and if you manage to deal a lot of damage with this punchy gun you will make a lot of credits but this tank has no armor all right it doesn't have the mobility so you play this thing like a sniper so would i get this tank <sighs> i have a soft spot for sherman tanks i always love sherman tanks i always love tiger tanks and t-34s uh, if it costs 7,000, uh, I'll probably get it, I guess, but I probably won't do as well because I I struggle with gun depression and yeah, 3 seconds aim time? Holy crap, that's rough. Yep, so it's up to you, but it's worthwhile if you penetrate and if you're top tier, so that's all I have to say. But thank you guys for watching, as always, subscribe to me on YouTube. And follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'm streaming uh, usually Fridays on Twitch. And if you like my channel and support my videos, consider donating via Patreon. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.